In this video I want to try a cheap substitute for an Olympus 90mm lens and that would be an Olympus 60mm lens, this small thing here and a Raynox 250 filter in front of it which should give quite a lot of magnification so that I would be able to photograph for example small ants and still get them to fill the frame and um, you could save a lot of money if this works because the Olympus 90mm as you know costs like $1600 or so and this setup is more like $500, $600 or something like that um, also it's a lot smaller so let's try it really hard to catch these ants, they are so fast. I do notice that I get plenty of magnification. So the Olympus 60mm without any filter on it is one time magnification. And on micro four thirds that is corresponding to two times magnification of full frame. But still when you photograph these really really tiny ants for example, they don't really fill the frame. And on full frame that's fine, I can crop a lot. but. It's harder to crop on Micro Four Thirds without losing too much image quality. So that's why I want to try this Raynox 250 setup. And it really looks like I get a lot more magnification. Not sure if it's like yeah, almost two times, I think, or at least one and a half times. And that's plenty for me. Okay, so I just heard from Indoors Michael that he has a couple of things he want to say, so yeah, let's let him say them and then we'll continue with the photo walk. Hello, Indoors Michael here. And Outdoors Michael may think he is smart, but he does not live in the future like I do. And apparently he did not do his homework and measure the magnification of this combination. I have done that now. I have measured the uh, magnification and it's 1.65 times magnification. So almost the two times magnification that you get with Olympus 90mm. That's pretty good. Outdoors Michael also does not have the kind of fancy equipment that I have. I have a desktop computer with a big screen. So I've actually looked at all of his photos and I examined them in detail. And I can also tell you that the sharpness of this combination, the Olympus 60mm and the Raynox 250 filter, is really good. It looks excellent. So I don't think you would sacrifice any image quality at all if you use this combination instead of the Olympus 90mm lens. That's it for me. Over to Outdoors Michael. Thank you, Indoors Michael. That's very interesting to hear. Now let's do more insect photography. Interestingly, both the autofocus and the automated focus stacking work great with the Raynox attached. So that's pretty amazing. I didn't really expect that. And sure, the autofocus maybe hunts a little bit more than, than normally, but it works. And um, with the focus stacking, I have found that I need to set a distance between the shots of around six. Uh, in the camera settings, so that is what I have today, and it seems to produce nice focus stacks. Recently I also ordered a faster memory card, because I notice when I'm doing these automated stacks with the Olympus camera, it spends quite a lot of time just saving data to the card. Currently I'm using a 170 megabyte per second card, now I ordered a 300 megabyte per second card. It was like a hundred dollars and uh, waiting to receive it and try it out and see if it helps anything. Little ladybug. It's actually amazing how well the autofocus and the autofocus stacking works with the Raynox on, it's as if the camera doesn't care at all. This is actually great. I 
one thing that you obviously do lose with this kind of setup is working distance. I have to be very, very close to the subject uh, when I'm gonna focus at the closest focusing distance. And if I would have the Olympus 90mm lens, that would not be as big of an issue. But I feel it works pretty okay. Biggest problem is when I'm photographing against like a tree stem or something, because then the diffuser will get in the way a bit. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, you have these kinds of problems with most lenses and I think to some extent you would also have it with the uh, Olympus 90mm. So the Reynox 250 filter has a 43mm filter thread So I simply applied a step down ring from 46mm on the Olympus lens to 43mm on the uh, Reynox filter and it worked great I also removed the um, Cygnus Tech step up ring that comes with it because now uh, the Reynox filter can act as something to hold the diffuser in place Simply snap it on like this and then I and tighten it with this thing. Now it sits really tightly and neatly. Let's have a look on the trees and bushes over there. Usually we can find some insects there, but I'm not sure if it is too early. So I'm pretty excited. I just found this ladybug with a color pattern that I've never ever seen before. I cannot recall seeing um, this kind of yellow uh, outlinings of the dots on the shell. And I'm really happy that I got a couple of shots of this because I've never seen a ladybug like this before. Do any one of you know the exact species? I would be happy to know. So yeah, I really think that this setup can be a really good substitute to the Olympus 90mm lens. Of course you get some benefits with 90mm, longer working distance, you have the manual focusing ring that feels a lot more manual than this one, you have better control there. Uh, but all in all I think this is a really great budget option if you want to get very very close, have the automated in-body stacking and autofocus works great I have to say uh, so I'm definitely gonna use this setup a lot more this summer in upcoming videos